Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the, um, uh, the, the, the lesson that we will be dealing today. And the lesson that we are dealing today is the equilibrium expression, which you are commonly known as KC. Now, if you look at KC, it's usually expressed as K or the subscript C. Now, by definition, KC is defined as the concentration of products divided by the products, sorry, concentration of products to the power of the products divided by concentration of reactants to the power of reactants. So, if you look at this particular example, hydrogen plus iodine gives you two hydrogen iodide. Then, if we have to write a KC expression for it, what we could say is KC is equal to concentration of products, so in this case the products will be hydrogen iodide, so it will be so if you have to write it down it will be concentration of hydrogen iodide to the power of the products which is 2 divided by concentration of reactants which is hydrogen to the power of hydrogen, which is a 1. So we, we, there's a 1 here, but we don't write it down. And the concentration of iodine, which is a reactant, to the power of the reactants, which you don't write down. So this here will be the KC expression for this particular reaction of hydrogen plus iodine gives you hydrogen iodide. Now, taking it a little further, here's a particular example. Find the equilibrium expression for the following equation. SO2 plus O2 gives you SO3. Now, the most important thing to do here when you begin is to ensure that the equation is balanced. And I did it for you already. If you look at the sulfur, there's one. If we ignore the balancing numbers now, let's just, let's just erase those balancing numbers for now. All right. Now, let's have a look at it. Let's just take all this out. So, if you look at this carefully, we'll see there's one sulfur on the left, one sulfur on the right. There's two and two, four oxygen on the left, three oxygen on the right. So, if we have to balance this equation and we write down our sulfur, then we'll see that if we put a two here in the front, it means we've got two sulfur on the left and we've got one sulfur on the right. And we put two sulfurs there and we've got two times two, which makes it four oxygen and another two oxygen which makes it six oxygen so if you look at the oxygen there's six oxygen on the left and two times three oxygen which gives it six oxygen on the right there's two sulfur on the right and there's two sulfur on the left and we can say that the equation is balanced so the first thing that we have to look at when we're working out kc is to see if our equation is balanced the next thing now that we can do is to take this particular equation and say Okay, right, let's write down the KC expression for what we have here in front of us. And we can say the product is SO3, 2SO3. So if we write the KC expression, KC is equal to SO3 to the power 2, because that's the balancing number, divided by the reactant is SO2 to the power 2 and O2 to the power of 1 because the balancing number here is 1 and then and here we have the values that are given to us so if we take it further the concentration so 3 is 0, 0.68 which must be squared divided by 0, 0.18 which is a concentration of SO2 and this has to also be squared because of the 2 and the concentration of oxygen which is 0, 0.18 and if we take a calculator and work this out, we get 0, 0.68 all squared divided by 0, 0.18 all squared multiplied by, oops, not 0, 0.18 all squared. Let me just do that again. If we just look at it again, we can see that it will be 0, 68 all squared divided by 0, 0,18 
all square multiplied by 0, 0,06 and then we get an answer of 237,86 of course there's a mistake here let me just sort that mistake out this will be 0, comma, just to put it in perspective 0, comma, 0, comma, 0, 0,06 just be very careful about substituting correctly now if you look at this value we see that the KC expression is 237,86 so this is very high. Now the rule of case is that firstly there's no units. Secondly, that if the KC expression is greater than one, that means that there is more products than reactants. And if the KC value is less than one, then there are more reactants than products. Yeah, there's more products than reactants, yeah, there's more reactants than products. So in this particular case, in this example that we've just concluded now, we see that the value of the KC is quite high. It's 237,86. So from here we can say that there are lots of products in this particular reaction. Now taking it a little further, find a KC expression for the following example. S plus O2 gives you SO2. Now, here we notice that there's a slight precaution that we must take. If we have to write it down, it will be SO2 to the power of the, of the products. But before that, uh, what I've missed out is we have to balance this equation. So one sulfur on the left, one sulfur on the right. Two oxygens on the left, two oxygens on the right. So this is balanced. So the KC expression will be SO2 divided by O2 and usually we'll write down the S but in this case we see that we don't write down the S the reason being that S is solid and solids do not form part of the KC expression so your KC expression for this particular case would be as follows there will be no solids and no liquids because, for example, sometimes you get, say, HCl, and they put an L in brackets for us. Then that will tell you that this does not form part of the KC expression. All right, we've discussed what can be deduced from the KC value. We said that if your product is greater than your reactants, then the KC expression will be greater than 1. And if your reactants are greater than the product, the KC expression will be less than 1. Just a final point before we conclude, it is important to know that only temperature, only temperature affects KC. Pressure does not have an effect on KC, no concentration has had an effect on KC. So that will be the first lesson related to equilibrium expression. In our next lesson, what we, what we may do is discuss further examples related to KC expression with the, which are a bit more involved. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.